<laughs> you see, your, as, as it is, after shoe beating your hands get so tired that I have never told you anything to be done later on, because your hands are really very tired. There are so many other things you can do if somebody tries to dominate or this thing. Of course, shoe beating is one of them, then collective shoe beating. You have to tell people shoe beat X, Y, Z like that and then beat. But you can write the name of the person, leave it a bandhan and burn it. You can write the name of the person on a paper and you can bury it. You can take a lemon in your hand and take the name of that person eleven times and cut it. There are… there's another way very easily you can do it, is to put that person at the lotus feet of your mother. But then it's dangerous, can be very dangerous. So if you do not want to have that much of danger, <laughs> then you can put it at the lotus feet of Sadashiva. That would be a little milder. <laughs> But to improve her life, talk to her. Because whatever you say is a mantra now, you are all saints. You are certified saints, I have told you. Whatever you say is a mantra. Whatever you do is an ashirvad. Nobody dare touch you. If they try to do it, they'll have to pay for it. I know somebody who works in the airport and he knows about my powers. One day somebody tried to trouble him. He said, be careful, my mother is very powerful. The another one who tried this got heart attack, the another one got cancer. The fourth one, he described him as he got an accident. I said, I don't know all that, please. He said, no, my mother is very powerful, you don't touch me, I am her son. He's not a regular surgery, he cannot attend our programs and all that, but he's very much rested within himself. Also some people, take a thread and tie up knots with the name of a person eleven times and burn the thread. These rituals can be avoided very easily if you put just mother's bandhan around him, but depends on your own surrendering. Anything else? 